up with this hour reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, had ever handled in a court of law. Horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Dahlia Hawthorne. What if I... <clears throat> what I have read, I don't want to believe. It was written here, this isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to stop... able to help me with him somehow. Right. Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? I still look a little green in the face. Maybe Viridian and artist speak. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, I read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shishishido did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself or I'll eat my coat. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. I'm... I didn't mean to huh, stop. That was probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. Something I will look into. And that is, our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I had the feeling that we met before. All I want is confirmation one way or another, since I probably won't be getting that from you. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. Bid you adieu, right? Take care. Guess I should get going, too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I gotta get back. Gotta get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm rigging something up so we can get to the, across the other side. Act, that's right. Maya's still tuck at the Lunar Temple. Don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshoe. No problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? Alright, I'm off. Hang in there, Maya. What did I do? Oh, sorry. We'll get you out, I promise. But in the meantime, I've been I've gotta continue collecting evidence. Come on, please, it's for art's sake, I swear. There's only one guy I know who would be this persistent and high strong. Talking about the heroine here, the heroine in my book, it'll make you famous. Ah, enough. Fools, fool, fools, fool, who foolishly accept the foolishness of the Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix, right? Huh, me? Wait a second, I know you, uh, reflexes of mind need to shape up. Brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want me to want to grill me over a name? Franzi, you can't do that. Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death, or so I'm told. Whip a dead horse, isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick, tell her, would you? Tell her she needs a model for my new picture book, Franzi's Whippity Whip Trip. Gah, before you ask me to model, learn to at least give at least semi-coherent testimony. Before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. Carrie Owen says, I'm telling the truth, I saw what I saw. She flew, I'm telling you, whoosh. Just like that dude with the red underwear. Don't think I'm going to forgive you guys when you come crawling back. I apologize. Off he goes. Huh. It's amazing how little changes, how little has changed with you in the past year, Phoenix. Right? Been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record naturally. Oh joy! Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I'm Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave a promising career. Yada yada. <laughs> Francisca was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was a legendary prosecutor, Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he's gone from this world. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me. Because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me, this I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. We're clear? Yes, Crystal. Truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who ended up blah blah blah. Edgeworth, come to think of it. Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. 
Miles Edward told me something very interesting, you know? He said this case is of special significance to you, because it does. That's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy-weensy pieces all the better. Probably a fever, but she's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Ow. No smirking. No whipping the foot. That foolish fool doing... Fedgeworth. No, make no mistake, Phoenix, right? I came here for one thing and one thing only to pulverize you. Not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer eggs, you know? Whatever the whole case file on the flight over. Read the whole thing? Yes. Every last word of... Every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did to make... Made it a very interesting read, you know. Tempting to cross a burning bridge, did you even consider the dangers? No. Only thing in my mind was I have to get across. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Gumshoe said he'd let me know when the, once the bridge was repaired. Nah, she's gotta be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened in the Inner Temple that night. Side. Oh, Bikini. Um, Sister Bikini? My, 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 I didn't know you were here. How are you doing? Um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I suppose I made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let my, I let Mystic Elise die, and then there's Iris as well. Mystic Elise? Now I think about it. Hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the inner temple. And that poor little girl's gone missing, too. The little girl? You don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident of pearls. Why, she's missing. Why didn't anyone tell me about this? For a temple courtyard, this is where Sister Bikini witnessed the accident. Incident. It's hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so maybe there are some clues that have been found. Okay, so what was the point in coming here? must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull the sword, that sword from Mystic Elise's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least, I wasn't until this morning. I'm not saying any cyclops, but you know, she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that Iris who testified after me? I saw Iris flying, her white hood fluttering. Felt like it might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had asked him just like him when I was on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble and nothing else. If both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, it can mean, only mean one of thing. They didn't, both didn't see what they think they saw. I the incident, you might met Iris at the Inner Temple, is that correct? That's right, I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claimed she was in her room in Hazakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night, but because you did, Maya stuck all by herself at the Inner Temple. Mm, I'm so sorry. Drafts in that place are nothing to shake a stick at, winter is especially bad. I'll bet the training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Earthquakes? Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels of the training hall. I've got to get Maya out of there fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the temple bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there, and it's surrounded on all sides by the river of the forest. I see. So a criminal would be would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. As long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. What? No. Sorry, I thought you were poking at something. No. That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and with no way of escape either. Oh dear. Yes, I suppose it does. Hmm. You're just about a few things you don't mind answering some questions. Oh, do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No, no, no. I want to know all more, a little more about the victim, Miss Elise Donham. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size or her bus size for that matter. No, no, I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, 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 you make it sound like this um, place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mr. Elise will be is here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There. Did it again, Sister Bikini. I noticed you always refer to Miss Donham as Mystic Elise. Oh, yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. 
We address all our visitors as mystic. It makes their experience feel authentic. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know? How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Seems Miss Elise Donum was no ordinary visitor after all. There's pearls. She was with Miss Donum on the evening of the murder. Now she's vanished. It's all gotta be connected somehow. Why did pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh, man. My head's throbbing so bad it's killing me. Pearls. She was uh, with Miss Donum on the night. Yes, but I have a temple to run. You know, I was busy preparing for the training. Didn't see the little darling even once after, even once after we'd finished eating dinner. I'm just moving my foot. What? I'm just moving my foot. Murder didn't take place right in front of her in his eyes, did it? Or a detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's only one place that Pearl could be. She just has to be there. Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you, you'll be done with the repair soon. Hey! What was that jarring inconsiderably loud yell? This is where you've been. Keeping nice and warm, I see. Detective, have you finished repair the bridge? Yeah, I did it. Told you I'd let you know. Well, well, well. Then I'll come along with you and... Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access is restricted. People involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? Couldn't get much more involved than me. Well, yeah. But that's not what I meant. Ah. It's been a while. Scruffy. It's... It's Von... Come on. Von Karma. Sister. Please, leave the investigation to me. My, my. Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I'm on your side. I don't want anything... I won't do anything you don't want me to. As you work to pin this guilt... Pin the guilt on Iris. Where are you daydreaming about, Phoenix, right? Ow, that hurts, you know. Silence. I, Francisco von Carmen, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you'll follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? certainly become a lot more hectic than before. Must have commenced with the investigation. Oh, Mr. Nick. That voice. Pearl! Pearls. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. You were here ever since that night. I was so lonely I thought I was going to die. When I woke up in the morning and saw the dusky bridge was gone, I realized I was all alone. She was all alone. Must have been very trying for you, little girl. Ah, you're... I'm Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Miss Mai last year. Well, I I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl with your but a little girl without your whip. Miss Mai didn't do anything wrong, but you were so mean, I'll never forgive you. I I Looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Yow. Why are you whipping me? I didn't even say anything. Didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you away. Anyway, Pearls? Weren't you with Maya? Ah, I'm sorry. It's it's all my fault, huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? Uh, this Maya. Hey, wait, Pearls. She just ran off. Ow. That was cruel. Phoenix, right? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What's that all about? Pearl acting like that. Give me the creeps. I guess I'd be I'd better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. The door is also open, almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well, we'll see what's... What stunning clue is concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty. How naive of you, Phoenix, right? But it's a bit strange, don't you think, Francisco Karma? Seem to remember. Snow in this incinerator the first time I saw it. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix, right? It's impertinent to call people by their full name. It's only copying you. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in your training.
It appears she's nowhere to be seen. What's that? That strange lock. Wasn't there two days ago. This whole room is really giving us some strange vibes. What do you think this, is, this yellowish poster is, Phoenix? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... Woman? I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since, I, since the last time I was here. No, it's not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy. What's the matter? Scroll, it's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, uh, yes, there's a very appetizing smell in the air. Gravy is a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. This must be the gravy we had with the roast on the night of the incident. Why would anyone do this? Why the scroll? Door. When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. It was changed. It's almost as if something's guarding something inside that cavern. Never seen quite a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. They look like the ones from... The ones that guard a person's secrets during a psych lock. Wonder if this lock is guarding something, too. Dark secrets of a dark cavern. What took you so long? Thought you... Thought even you'd manage to get here faster than this, Mr. Trait. Prosecutor Godot, I didn't know you were here. Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Ha! Huh. Could ask you the exact same question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold, so... I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. Importance of which is, is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough, I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? It's a wild marriage, right? This is Miss Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Ha! Ah, I guess I owe you one then. But you can go now, Princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Just who do you think you are? This case is my... Hey, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand women like you. I'm only going to say this once, lady. Found whip whipping bird. Go home. Phoenix, right? What are you hitting me for? Ha! Ah, you deserve more cracks of the whip than that, right? What? Still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've been you've set in motion something you'll never be able to undo. There's something different about Godot today. He's such a strong sense of something from my from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or is it sorrow? I had some important business and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. Return from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Siege, right? I've experienced something most not have. Most have not. Death. You died? Of course, being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. A meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... Well, let's just say modern medicine allows us to all to live a, to a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So you mean that mask you wear is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Come on. Without this, I can see you... Your frequently dumbfounded face. I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Still, I keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with the regular servicing. I'm sorry, but... You say you experienced death? How's that possible? What happened? Why'd you ask him? Huh? Me? Yeah, it's right. You, you should know all about it. You know when my life ended and who ended it for me. Well, Phoenix Wright, do you? I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Godot was killed. It'll all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Wright? Earlier you said I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that, exactly? The inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said, too. Now, Wonder Trait, do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. Missing? As leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. My FA is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. What? Okay. 
Huh? But that's impossible. She came here that night and... I'll say it again, the chances of her being here are nil. Excluding one... Of course, one very unique place. One, where is that? Sacred Cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. It's the only place that the search party has yet to explore. So I haven't searched the cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing, even if she were in there. The chance of her being found alive or slim at best. No, which means, Trite, that you sent Maya and Faye to her death. You fool. If that's the situation, why aren't you in there right now with a search with a search party right now? I must have blinders on Maya's equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, Trite, once again a woman dies because of you. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all. The last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That's right, Mia Faye. Mia? You killed her. No, that's not how it was. It's two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone, a man. She bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. Sure, Miss Faye's murderer was caught. But that won't bring her back. Well, no, but... You were with her at the time, you and no one else. It was your responsibility, you should have protected her. I... You say Mia Fey was your teacher, well then I say you've learned nothing, Trite. You robbed her of her life, and now you've let her sister suffer the same fate. I haven't sent Maya to death, no. What's this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Any excessive force used to open, break open the lock would... Well, let's just say the Inner Temple and the Sacred Cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well, then I dare suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key. Ah. Sure, just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. There's no keyhole? That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Who was it? Simple. The accused. What, Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the Sacred Cavern... The attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Ofei was the train in there. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times, now that I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the training. So Iris the accused is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? Hope she gets here soon. Hang on there. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. So, I should be getting back to work. Wait, go down. How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You better start praying. You better pray that your fr that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth? Listen up, Trite. There's only one thing I want to say before to you before you guys go. I'll never accept you. Never. What? Yeah. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix, right? That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Guess I'll just have to wait. Have to do what I can for now. Should I or shouldn't I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself, but where's that coming from? Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Arr, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Ah! Something troubling you, Scruffy? Please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It's merely a simple greeting, a friendly tap on the shoulder with my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Is something on your mind? How'd you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you wanted to wash that off or not. How'd you know that, sir? Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I um, kind of already snuck in there. You trying to be clever or something? So what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? Kind of a garden-like garden. Garden? Yeah, anyway, there's it's under investigation right now, so keep out. Not telling you, I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Isn't it normally the other way around? Well, see you later. Shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course. What else would we do? Oops. Really want to know what gum she was thinking of washing off. Strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling, forget about that. What's that strange writing on the stone lantern? Ah, what are you doing here, sir? I thought I 
Said you can't come in here. Don't you know Scruffy of Von Karma will always show up wherever there is a clue. There are plenty of clues to be found here. But... Charm or something poking out from the snow. Looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it, too. Apparently it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Donum? Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cord found on both the victim and on, the, and on this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like this little trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. The heck is that? Uh-oh. You spotted it, huh, pal? It can't be, it couldn't be more obvious. It says Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions now, Scruffy, without exception. Yes, sir. How's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best forensic team in the world working in, working in the place. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of the scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh-oh. Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. Stone lantern in the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? Look kind of fishy to me, you know, scientifically speaking, so I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... it's kind of hard to say, actually. Guess I better look into them myself. I'm about Maya. Oh, um, did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her, but there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on the side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's a scoring iris defendant over here. I'll have to wait since she is the only one who can open the door of the Sacred Cavern. Uh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something, too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down I felt like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. Sounds boy. Mayo. So what are these... So these letters are written in blood? Yeah. What's worse is it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Donum's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Hmm. Most interesting. Thanks, right. I presume you know, don't? Why, why, why Maya's name is written upside down? You know what? That was really bothering me, too. But I just came up with my answer, with the answer, the result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder, that stone lantern was upside down. Um, anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Miss Lee's Donum wrote these letters herself in her own blood. You must be joking. That's impossible. From the writing of the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elite's Donum's murder. At least that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? Miss Donum was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. And what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was... Oh, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Von Karma? Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? Wait a sec, the bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set all that up after the murder, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quick do you forget, Phoenix, right? Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible, because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs of the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. I think I... I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. This really was the scene of the crime, but I dreamed to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. Do you have a visitor? Right. Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Go to manage and mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We gotta hurry and unlock the secret cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, Wright. Wait, Edgeworth. I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, Wright. I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... My F.A. is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth. 
anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's Maya, Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... This is the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix, right? From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off-limits. We'll be going now, excuse us. Ack. There's no time to be standing around, Phoenix, right? Aren't there other things that demand your attention? He's right. Thanks. For reminding me. They better not kill Maya. They're not going to. Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix, right? What's wrong, sister? Bikini? My, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? What? Mm. From the sound of her sides, yeah, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She's accompanied by that handsome crimson clad prince. She talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear. It's all my fault that all this has happened. Poor Iris. She would was worried about my bag, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. We'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ack. Oh, yes. You did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. You are the only ones who said that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shill over a shill to a shrew. You have a problem, Phoenix, right? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully that I like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break those cyclocks of hers. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Donum has a special significance to this temple. That's why she has a special significance. I do believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She, she was Miss Elise with an author. Just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Donum's true identity. It's gonna be their mom. Miss Donum had this charm with her at all times. Where'd you... This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. What do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. This thing speaks volumes about who Miss Donum really was. This talisman and only one other item unequivocally proved Miss Donum's true identity. Painting is obscured by, by this gravy stain at the moment. Scroll shows a master of the Korean channeling technique. The crest at the top is a sign of the on is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman with the, the victim carried with her. This crest is reserved for the master of Korean. Who on earth would you told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master Maya Fey told me. What? You mean that acolyte is Misty Fey's daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fey's sole successor. Mystic Misty. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? Grain talisman is a symbol of the Master of Grain. Bear must carry carry it with them and always until their death. Until their death? So Lee's Donum was really Ma Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Fay, the master master of the Korean channeling technique. Truth comes out at the last. Looks like we're making some headway here. You tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. What happened? Well, What's happening? It can't be. Earthquake! Ah! Oh my goodness. The inner temple. This kind of tremor might... The inner temple. The sacred cavern in the training hall might very well cave in. What? Maya! Hopefully. It seems to have passed. 
Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? Sister Bikini will finish this later, all right? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. It must. I must get some first aid kits ready. Come on, then, Phoenix, right? They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's all right. Yeah, he's scared of earthquakes. Look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go. Gotta hurry to the inner temple and... Right. Ah, what are you doing here? How could I have... How do you expect us to understand you if you don't speak up? Yow. Hey, why am I the only one getting whipped? She's gone. No. Defendant, Iris, she's gone. Gone where? She fled, she escaped. What? Oh, boy. So, it was just now, during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. Should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes, and I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? It's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is a dead end, so she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the earthquake. Do you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall sacred cavern now. Alright, let's go. Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in, but what we found was something none of us expected. What? How can there be even more locks? What's the meaning of this? Iris. Iris, please tell me, what the hell's going on?
Right, is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah. Trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edwards, I'm afraid I can't. Not possible for me. What? During the earthquake when the cavern was in danger of cave caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger. Edward, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like, you're one to talk with your face all green. Alright, guys. Go in and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfectly... There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edward. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Gotcha. He's got so much pride in that. He's got so much pride that he's probably off quarrying in the corner oh, of the garden. I'm all pretty, pretty pride tired. Is, pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, warm in the house too. At any rate, it seems that this is where where we part ways, Phoenix. Right? I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. No, I don't really care. You are not talking to Iris? Not right now. Finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. My sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. I heard that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. Pearl! Oh, Mr. Nick. Pearls, what are you doing here? Nothing. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry, this is a loser's shack where losers get together to lose themselves. Yeah. Oh, it's right behind his shoulder. Yep. Her flag. Yeah. This is the what? I was looking for it. <laughs> the fuck? Who was that? Yeah, Slayer Loser. Oh, wait, yes. hold on a second. What? Oh, hold on. I gotta change something real quick. Give me a second. Green, white, and yellow? Green, white, and yellow? Yeah. No idea. It's not Italy. No, Italy is the green, no. white, and red. Let me see if I can find it. There's green, Germany, France, white. America... China or Japan? Sweden, Greece, Korea, Britain. I don't know what that... Is the plus Denmark? I thought it was Sweden. I could be wrong. Was that... Would that be Ireland? Yes, it's Ireland. That's Ireland.
That's the wrong way. But that's the right way. Yeah, maybe it's Ireland, or it's supposed to be Ireland. Or maybe it's a version of Ireland? Japan is the the white one with the red just with the red circle. One second. That does work, okay, cool. How am I gonna explain the boss why you're not in that elevator shaft, huh? That is weird. Oh, well, that worked out. Well, that worked out. I do need to check something really quick. Oh, it's a place in Ireland? Give me one second, sorry. This, I can't remember. Oh, hopefully, gotcha. We go with the carry queen, the dog. We went on a long walk and it was hot. I had to change some real quick. I don't feel like typing the whole thing in, so I'm going to try to. Yeah. Oh yeah, the plot in this case is a pain in my ass. Alright, so that should be good. So if I go up here... Same or not, but I delete that instead. All right. The, the, the plot of the case is getting weird. Now I can try this again. Hold on. Oh, got it. <laughs> Alright, now let's see if this works. Now it works. What? Oh. <laughs> Flying emotes. That is an option now. Because why? Why not? Alright, I fixed it. Yay! <laughs> Go for it.
We got... Hey, we find comfort in each other's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> That is pretty funny. Whose face is that? Or is that just a random emote? That... that's Greta... Greta... Uh, the act, little activist girl. Mm -hmm. That one I don't know. Guthrie? Greta Thumber, thank you. Or Thurber, oh. or whatever it was. Yeah. I don't know who the other one is, though. So offhand. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. I need to watch that. I've never watched that show. Even though the show got spoiled for me. I kind of want to watch it. Alright. So, hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? <laughs> Look, Mr. Nick, Miss Larise did a picture of me. That's, um, great pearls. Yeah, who gossip girl has got ruined for me? Didn't Pretty Little Liars get ruined for you, too? No. No, I watched Pretty Little Liars as it was on. Didn't they do a couple of other series, too? <laughs> yeah, I kind of was. All of that. That whole fucking show. For that. Well, it's like Dallas. It was all just a dream. And then you make. And then. Yeah. Yeah. All of. Like. And every time they made us think somebody else was A, and they weren't. So mad. So mad. We're going to gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. Not a whole lot, no. So stay out of our way. I don't believe this. Why can't he try to get fire? The other show that I had, uh, I know some of the stuff, some of the people, because it was, uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> isn't that, uh, Nolan North? Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, voice actor? Yeah. Yeah. No one he plays Spencer's dad. Oh, okay. Never watched it. Well, and then, um, Holly Marie Combs. I love Charmed. I love Charmed. Love Piper. She played Arya's mom in Pretty Little Liars. I got you. No idea who you're talking about, so cool. Piper! Well, I know that. Yeah, she played one of the moms. Gotcha. Then, yeah, the whole mom blocked in the basement thing. Like, how the hell did they get out of the basement? Just saying. Just saying. Don't believe the word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Sons of Anarchy, I knew some of the people that died before I watched the show. Like, I knew about one of them the night that it happened because it was all over social media. Because it pissed everybody off. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? At least it's having fun. <laughs> yes, you are. No, you're good. I don't care. Is that who is that? That's uh, hey, the guy who was always with hanging out. It's Step Brothers. Is that John? Is it John? No, that's not John. John C. Riley. It is John C. Riley. Oh no, you're good. There's something you want to tell me about this picture? Yeah, I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here Still now. Pearl, bad. two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What am I gonna do with that? Smack him in the head. All right then. What do you think about this picture, pearls? I I think it's really well drawn. Can't draw it all, so I think it's really amazing. <laughs> See, someone appreciates it. It's tough for, <laughs> tough getting the flames to look like that, you know. You ever watch Charm Delis? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream, a wonderful fantasy. No, no, no. It wasn't a dream. It's my, it's my com like that is like my all time favorite show. It's my comfort show. Like I've seen she it really like ten flew. times, you, all the way that. through. I really flew that night. But Mr. Larice, uh, I recommend. You two, please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I beg of you. 
Guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thought thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. I was wide awake after the lightning struck. Wizard of Oz is my comfort movie. Wizard of Oz is like, if I've had a really bad day, that's what I watch. If I'm really emotional, I watch Wizard of Oz. But Mommy is so good. <laughs> I don't blame you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I like the second one when she's pulling the bench around to the door. He goes, honey, they don't use do These guys don't use doors. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and Jonathan with the kid in the second movie. Those two, oh my god. <laughs> Then they had to ruin it with the third one. Yeah. By not having her in it. But not, yeah. Brendan Fraser and is Rachel, it Rachel Weiss. Weiss. Their chemistry. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Then there was the random one with Tom Cruise. No, that was supposed to be a re. Uh, so the Universal no. Mon they were starting the Universal Monsters thing. They had done Dracula. They were going to do the Mummy. It had absolutely nothing to do with the other movies. Mm. This was like the mummy from Universal Pictures. Mm. They also had oh, what's his name? Russell Crowe in it as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. In the same movie. Oh, the kid? She getting along with the kid? No, Alex is her brother. No, Jonathan's her brother. Really? Alex was the kid. Oh. John yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. <sighs> Oh. oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Got it. Yeah, it doesn't really exist, though. I'm trying to think of what my comfort movie is. I like Scorpion King, too, though. Like, that going, like, the Scorpion King was actually really good, too. That was the second one, wasn't it? That was the one with, that was after the second oh. one. Oh! Like it I said, that one had movie. absolutely nothing to do with the mu the Mummy series. It was just a reimagining for the Universal Monsters thing that they were trying to do, and that that movie flat out killed the entire thing because it tanked. Yeah, didn't do well. Willow, you're in his bed. Dracula, Dracula. Oh, she had a kid. Oh. That could also be the reason why. Yeah, that could be why she wasn't in she it. She was kind of glowing in the second one. But that could have just been her, too. Still trying to think of what my comfort movie was. Or is. Nice Wizard of Oz. I love the Wizard of Oz. I joke and want to say it's Starship Troopers because I don't know what it is with that one. I always laugh at that one. She stepped away from the mummy tomb of the dragon emperor. She had a newborn son. They want to be with her in a period to shoot the next movie. Oh, yeah, gotcha. that makes sense. Would you like to know more? I'm doing my part! Yeah, that's... What? Have I seen that? I don't think I've seen that. Robin Williams. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Poetry? Yeah, I think I've seen Speaking that. Speaking of movies on that level, it's I usually watch Goodwill Hunting if I want that. Oh, yeah. I've seen that one. What's Eden Gilbert Grape? Oh, I can't do that one. That one depressed me too much. Yeah, I'll have to watch it. Ooh, I'll probably read the book. Oh, should I do the oh. movie then the book? Then the book. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what she just said. She says, please watch it, then read the book. Oh, okay. Normally the movie isn't better than the book. I haven't seen Dead Poets Society in a long time. That kind of reminds me of Mr. Holland's Opus. That was a good movie, too. You know, the other show, like I said earlier, Son of, Sons of Anarchy was the other one I went into knowing, so you know, who a lot of the people had died throughout the show. Oh, I forgot to say Good Omens 2 came out. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch that. At some point. I saw what I saw. It's exactly like a drew the picture. We're watching Big Bang Theory right now. Yeah, we just felt like trash. Oh. It is trash. It's funny, though. It's trash. It's... The original 
Karate Kid was good. The second yeah. one, part two, wasn't bad. Was it part three that had the girl? Yeah. No, that's the new Karate Which Kid. One? Oh. Oh, really? Oh, hey, I mean... It's it's a sitcom. Been watching. I've been watching Roseanne, too. On my like, that's my show that I've been watching right now is Roseanne. Like, if I if I'm gonna watch a TV show, I'll, I'll sit there and binge watch Red Dwarf. I'm rewatching Boy Meets World. <laughs> I will binge watch the hell out of. Oh, Big Bang Theory one through four. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, because they all had girlfriends at that point. Right? After season four? They're all dating somebody or involved with somebody? Oh, Raj. Well, yeah, Raj would technically have to be Joey. <laughs> Jake, you are making Raj a mess of everything. Married. Go. Go. Oh, the one without him? Go. Jake, go. I've been, like... Watching some of the older sh sitcoms and shows that I had watched as a kid, but never had watched all the way through. Like, I watched uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, The Nanny, and watching Roseanne. It's like, I used to love watching Family Matters, but I cannot watch that all the way through because things get really screwy. Yeah? Yeah, because, like... Oh, Steve and, uh, Stefan or whatever his Steve, name. well, that, that's the whole thing, but the... Was it the daughter they changed completely? Well, Becky gets changed in Roseanne at some point, I think. Yeah. And then Morgan gets changed in Boy Meets World. Oh, that's right. Actually, you know what? I could, I'd could, i be down for watching Home Improvement. Oh, okay. yeah. That was always a fun show. Okay. Yeah. You know who I loved in Family Matters? The grandma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm making noise. Hey, what's the look with the doubt in your face? Pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? I mean to ask you about the night of the murder. Ah. Oh. Where were you? What exactly was, were you doing when it all happened? I, um... I, I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know. Sure, it doesn't really matter what I was doing, does it, Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. A night of the murder. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be in Miss Donham's room reading a book together. But Miss Donham was murdered and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. What exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Oh, Pearl. Yeah. I've been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power has disappeared. Oh. <laughs> Is it still the grandma? Yeah. <laughs> she said she needs to be punished. And her spiritual power has disappeared. Or she, didn't she say she was being punished? She's being punished, yeah. She's been a bad... I've been a bad girl. Oh, Pearl. Oh, she has. Yeah, because you yeah, read spoiled stuff. Yeah. What? Her powers have disappeared. What do you mean your powers have disappeared, Pearls? It's, it's all over for me. Spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. Hey, what are you looking at me for? Is it that one? I've never felt so naughty. I love Pearls. courage. <laughs> Did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at the Hazakura Temple? Oh, for love. Don't. Tried but failed, perhaps? Uh, was wow. it? Way to go, Nick. You made her cry. That was I'll really cruel of you. I like it. Okay. 
Hey, I'll do, do it. it. But I won't, but I won't like, like it. it. There you go. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had to break her cyclox to get the truth out of her. Her sister Bikini is back in the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. Bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. Oh boy. Yes. Do it! Make your dreams come true! Seize the day! Why is Bikini shaking like that? Can't see Gumshoe. It's kind of unnerving. He's defrocking her. <clears throat> well, what's the damage? How is it? How's the sacred cavern? <laughs> but it looks like it survived, but we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who who could have done that? The only person who knows how to set those trick locks are those of the Korean tradition. A virus of the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh yes, we were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes, you were telling me how the Master of Korean disappeared 17 years ago. Her name is Bikini because she chose it. Yeah. She keeps telling people, well, you should see me in summer. Yes. So, this case is a mess. I hate it here. <laughs> this case is a fucking mess. It is a mess. There's a lot to go over. Because she hasn't seen it. Oh, yeah. So it all started with Phoenix... Pearl Maya. Phoenix, Pearl, Maya, all coming to this... This temple or whatever because Maya wanted to go get training... In the sacred cavern or whatever. Yeah, she came for training. So they show up to this place. Bikini is here. Iris is here. Who Iris is somehow related to Dahlia Hawthorne. Or is her. Or is her. And it's also the same person who tried to frame him for murder. Yeah. And of his schoolmate else. and somebody else. Yeah. Well, it was two different times. Phoenix and then another oh, time. Actually, all right. So this lady, Iris, she could. Yes, Dahlia Hawthorne, whatever. Yada yada. So there, she's there too. And then you have Lise Donham, who was actually. You don't find this out till like now. But she ends up being Maya's and mother. Me, yeah. Maya and Mia's mother. These two's mother. Who has been hiding out for 17 years, but something's happening where she had to show up to stop it, and she ended up getting murdered. And they thought that this was a murder weapon, but it ended up not being because they proved conclusively that it wasn't. Yeah, they said she died from a fall. Larry Butt showed up because Larry. he's the apprentice to her because she writes picture books, so he's apprenticing with her. And he calls himself Larice Donham because he's Larry. an idiot. Yeah. And Phoenix tried to run across the bridge after his lightning struck it because it was on fire and he was worried about Maya fell into the water, ended up having a cold. And we had to play as Edgeworth the last time to deal with the case just until Phoenix was better, so and now he's taken over. And right now Phoenix has figured out that Misty Fay was their mother and now she's dead. They still haven't had access to Maya. I think that's where we're at, right? Yeah. I think that covers pretty much most of the stuff. Yeah. Larry thinks he saw uh, Iris fly over the bridge. It, it's a whole mess. Yeah. 
I don't know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise, no, I mean Misty, Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was a master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy, destroy the Korean tradition's main family line. I'm here to put a stop to them. Oh, this is going to deal with Morgan and Pearl. Morgan wants Pearl to take over. Hmm. Well, Morgan's in jail. Yeah, but that's why Iris is there. Now remember, there's two things. I think Dahlia Hawthorne went, went to jail and was executed. Because she, she killed someone. I can't remember. <sighs> So she's a spirit. It's Morgan. She's got... Someone's just trying to destroy the main family line. There's only one heir to the title of master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. A child becomes a new master of Karain, and her daughter is the main family. All other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. Yep. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families that always have and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? We're not talking to you. We're going to the courtyard. Did Missy try to do something to Pearl? I think she was trying to keep Pearl there so that Pearl didn't accidentally do what Morgan wanted her to do. Hmm. Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that that they're humming? No oh, gumshoe. No motive, no crime, no motive, no crime. Sing it with me, no motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search in the channeling room in Karain. Oop, I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating is all about. The investigator investigates for love of investigating, it's passion. <laughs> good cases we have, good cases we've lost along the way. Would never guess that Gumshoe was into reggae. Oh, jeez. Every case gonna be airtight. Every case gonna be airtight. <laughs> hey, pal. Huh? Who, me? How long have you been there? Uh, I just got here. Oh, oh okay. Gumshoe. So where are you up to, detective? Vest game, pal. Made a promise to Mr. Edwards. Promised I would find the real murder weapon. Real murder weapon. Barb's sword thing turned, into, turned out to be a false lead, right? I'm giving it my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. Just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? <laughs> so how's the investigation going, does Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal, but I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And they're talk taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? You mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're going to be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me, I don't know. They're not my words, pal. And who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot? What did he mean by that? About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. All I find is some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right inside the inner temple. Incinerator? I knew it. I knew it wasn't imagining it. There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. <coughs> but after the incident, the snow had melted away, which means someone used the incinerator on the night of murder. It's up to you, pal. I've got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's, a, it's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums. It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit and mediums and masters. I better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. Make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. What do you know about the real murder weapon so far? It wasn't the Shishishito that was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. 
And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now, huh? Yeah, and man, is it tiring work, but let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of, of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? It's a secret weapon of yours. You want to know? You've got to think scientifically, okay? Alright, murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. I know what he's going to say, but I'll let him look smart. So what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! Metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a while away. Well, you want to give scientific investigation a go? Huh? Me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Should I help Detective Gumshoe or not? Come on, pal. It's good fun, I'm telling you. Alright. Alright, then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. It's the absolute best. So sensitive you can make it cry. So high-tech you can skydive off of. Oh, bother. So now I'm going to tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is around here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so let's first let's turn the detector on. That's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off something. Metallic. Next. The detector around. Don't worry, this baby will let you know when you hit something metallic. Can't speak. When it happens, press enter to give the area a good hard stare. Thing picks up metallic. Take a good look at anything and everything that looks suspicious, okay, pal? Look, a ladder! It's a step ladder. It's a difference. Looks like a normal ladder to me, pal. Surely everyone knows the difference. I mean, they're pretty ordinary objects. But plenty of guys like you always pick up on the smallest details. Vegetable store guy near me and my... Near my place does it all the time. He even corrects me when I ask for a head of cabbage. Lettuce. That's cabbage, he says. I'm telling you, they're the exact same thing. No, they're not. They're completely different. You have to plant both of them firmly in the ground before they can grow, don't you? Listen, you gotta take a step back and look at the bigger picture sometimes. Otherwise, you can miss a really important clue. That's advice from a pro, pal. Last person I need advice from is this guy in front of me. That, that is itchy. Sorry. This is Miss Donum's staff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood, but the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, alright? Don't bother investigating anything unless it looks a, like it might be a, might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? Where that this thing is causing a racket? Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Examining evidence is job for the... Ah. The top's coming off. Look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence. Ah! Oh, that's a a sword inside the staff. Is this could it be the murder weapon? I never guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. They call this kind of thing a a sword cane, pal. I got one. This one's a real gem. The horsemanship is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword, or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. <laughs> the real scene of the crime was the inner garden temple. And why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe. Who knows about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. Doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. Then I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? No, no, no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course. This thing's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal. It's about the same length as the Shishishito, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run, o run over to forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal. Everything gonna be alright. Uh, <laughs> Wait up, detective. Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now. You're going to get that staff analyzed, right? Hold, hold it! Objection! Hold your horses! Would you mind holding off for just a little while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please, just until we find Maya. 
Maya, what's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a real bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think... Maya's been mur- the Please, detective, let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. You're looking kind of viridian there. Okay, okay, just stop it with that face, pal. One thing, though. The staff's secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, alright? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill staff, you got it? Okay, now you take good care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Gumshoot. You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find mine, huh? Sure, thanks. Can't help but wonder, though. What was the least Donum doing with a staff like this in the first place? You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. It's been two years since I first met Maya, and that time I've seen her channel the spirits of dead of the dead plenty of times. During the mas mask Damask case, and during Maggie Bird's trial too. So Maya Mia is always on hand to help me out when I need her most. The crane technique has made a huge difference in the world, you know. I mean, the ability to commune with the dead, that's true psychic power, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but with all the power and influence, I kind of expect you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Oh, you're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see, all because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? Seventeen years ago, that's when everything came crashing down. All because of that instant. That instant? Is she talking about what I think she is? Sure, the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It's called the DL6 incident. It's the name of the file of the file. DL6 incident. I knew it. DL6 incident. I know. I know it well. I handled a related case just two years ago. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. Murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel a victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. The medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fate, Maya's mother. The mystic Misty is channeling the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. The case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media. Public, the judi judiciary, the people of Korean Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's power were, powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone th still thought of her as a fraud. If I know the truth, Misty Faye's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover at last. With a new master wielding the power of the clan, does she mean Maya? Spiritual power, spiritual power of the Korean channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been the spirit mediums. Because the power of the community to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Amy. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes a new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. It's always the cause, cause of tragedy. You no, know, Maya had a sister, too. An older sister named Mia. Oh, yes. I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result. You know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. Her and Morgan. That's right, Misty Faye had an older sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat for her. 
Mystic Missy's sister was Mor Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Morgan? There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Korean Village. What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. Suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris... Oh. What? What? That Iris is Mystic Morgan's daughter. Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Fay's daughter? Did you just say that? Iris is Morgan Fay's daughter. Oops, I thought you'd already knew. Sounded like you'd met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Fay. I always thought she was an only child. You jest. That child, she's Mystic Morgan's. I had no idea. Mystic Morgan. She's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. She had more than one daughter? What the fuck? It's all done to set Pearl up as the next master. See, so I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. What? Three? Yes, Iris, her twin si- Uh... This is messy. It's a spaceship, damn it, not a prom limousine! Ooh, if anyone needs me, I'll be in the angry dome. <sighs> what? Her twin sister? Why didn't you know it all happened 20 years ago? After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Corrine's reputation hit an all-time low. Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master. He left her and the village, taking their twin daughters with him. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's what it ha when it happened. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. Okay. That was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister... Could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? Dahlia. Sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm, jeweler. Yeah, she had the fucking... Poison vial? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, seriously. Helped clear up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream of that, that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls? Seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So Iris has a twin sister. The plot thickens. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions to get some more info. You have to go... Where is the state? Run for like a second and stopped. Because the batteries are dead. Oh. They're old. <clears throat> Cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous too. It's got to be a tough job. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. Mutter, mutter. How could I have done that? Well, I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edward? Yeah! Hey, don't you dare run away. 
What do you want, right? What do I want? If you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away. He's ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same old prideful Edward. Back to the Criminal Affairs Department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes, thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. Hey, Edgeworth. Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A twin? You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but... The problem is, she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father. Jeweler, I think. Jeweler? Right, I... I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. Name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Hold it. Yes, exactly. Just tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. You guys are putting a lot of effort in the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime, that's why. You mean because of the writing and blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect Maya, do you? You have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? So I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. No, though thankfully my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago, when we were little kids at the same elementary school, Edward found himself in the middle of a murder. The elevator. I'll start with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Guess I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out, that's when it happened. How's it working? Seriously? Nope. That's what it does. A single gunshot shattered my whole life. So this is trying to wrap up a bunch of stuff. Lost everything that day all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. That case was finally resolved two years ago, right? Don't think I... You think I don't know that? But I was there. But... Such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. Not after you, you saved me. Edworth, you're stronger than you think, so no more of this self-pity, okay? It was my first court case six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant died. I'm talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about that case? You're not the only one who knows something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry, Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. Stole a jewel worth $2 million from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. Five years after that, murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. sister. Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood-related. Valerie was the, only, was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh, and this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. After Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? Simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? Well, her metabolic processes are only a, are a matter of interest only to historians, as I would speak. What do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? Right. I must confess that, that reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty, thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. Angry. 
at that at the time, Galia. It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down, and her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? I and mean, for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead, and once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. Mm. There's no way to revive the dead? Mm. I wonder. Seems you're not aware of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. What was that? But Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's her mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, a spirit medium from a branch family of the Korean Channeling Technique. Did you say Korean Channeling Technique? Do you know something about it? Oh, yes. I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. Caught up in the middle of a murder investigation, the police didn't have any leads. They were stumped, and that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of her channeling school. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of the murder. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police records room, it's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know. I've already done that like four times at this point. Of course, how could I forget? Edgeworth was a victim in that case. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. Then you'll see that Korean channeling technique is real. Make a run for it, Iris. I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I was so worried I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was all right, but but what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern's door, and hmm. who in the world would do something like this? Trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Korean tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. Aren't you the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francisco von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. They wanted to secure it before you got here, Ayers. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris, that Iris can only open one of these locks, the first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any way around this? Well, like I said, there are hundreds of way different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But it'll take time, won't it? Yes, about a day if I had to guess. A whole day? That's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure. I'll do whatever I can. You've got to wait another day? Hang on. Hang in there, Maya. We're going to have to call it, call on your inner strength now. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. What the, might that be, Phoenix, right? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you are in the, your room in Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you are seen that same evening at the inner temple. And then, you were spotted at the scene of the crime in the Hazakura Temple, too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple, it's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Is Dahlia still alive? I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. No, she's not alive. She was executed. Channeler. Hmm. Pearls. Channeler. Misty Fay. Channeler. Hmm. Maya. Channeler. I think it's time you told the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Hazakura Temple the entire time. Do you still claim that to be the truth? Yes, that's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me too, but I can't. 
Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. Talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini. Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the Inner Temple, but, well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to Hazakura Temple. Sister Bikini didn't just see you, she spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris, you were there at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Wright. The acolyte's actual training was due to start at 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left about 9.40, I think. Sorry, Iris, but flying just doesn't suit you. Huh? Now you say you left the main hall at 9.40 p.m., but what you say doesn't add up with this. You yourself testify to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Ah. Well, it's only moments before you rang that bell. You were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. Mr. Wright. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. No, that's right, I remember. And that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. 10 o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've only... I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the <laughs> Thinner Temple. Second, at the same, exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this apparent impossibility. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time, which means there must have been two of you. Can't think of another explanation, Iris. That's crazy. How could that be? There's only one of me. It's impossible. Possible? I wonder. The way you're trembling seems to suggest otherwise. You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Show me something that proves there is more than one of me. I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps? Ah. That's right, Dahlia Hawthorne, the woman I only I know only too well. No idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But she's no longer... Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? Sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? The second you who was here at the night temple on the night of the murder, it was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. But you said just said it yourself a second ago. My sister is dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo, a training ground of the Korean channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. Yep. I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister. Dahlia, the other half of me who just passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The Iris and Sister Bikini saw at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? And because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I, I have to accept my maybe found guilty. It's the only way. What's she talking about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? That was the start of it all. That's when her, that's what started her down that twisted path. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end, she, she lost her life. All because I betrayed her. How'd you betray her, Iris? It's no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I helped plan the whole thing. What? I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father? That's awful. But I promised. I promised that I'd help. And she didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on her father. Revenge? 
do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. Her mother? She must be talking about Morgan Fay. Her mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many businesses and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, her mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason her father married her mother in the first place, for power. This plan backfired. Because her mother's sister took it all from her, she took over as a master of Kurain. That'd be Misty Faye, Maya's mother. But before long, the credibility of the Korean tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Mystic Misty Faye, made a terrible mistake. During the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive and that he had no reason to stay there. That's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I had no place in his new family, you see. Oh, and I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having a master's seat stolen from her and being rejected by her own family, I've heard she's been ba very battered spiritually and emotionally. I am finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I've asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it, goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Hawthorne, poisoned a lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. A college student, have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright. There's still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. I suppose I'd better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearl Cycla. really did make a fire right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick. Ha! Huh, you're too late, Nick. You came here for one of our potatoes. We've already polished them all off. I think I pretty much got all the evidence I need. And I just need to find out what Pearls is hiding. She was the one channeling her, I bet. Probably. After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Donham's room reading a book together, correct? Yes, I was so happy when she invited me, but I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No, there was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried, I, I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself, I was so nervous. So Pearl ne Pearls never went to Miss Donham's room, because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? But here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? The next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now I'm going to take a guess and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? Okay. I went to this place for one very simple reason, that is... Take that! It's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Ah. You know, the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was a special course. Sign up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one, become one with those you channel. Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? Because it was you who, you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me wor more and more worried. Couldn't sit still at all. So I decided to go and find out what she was doing at the Inner Temple. Then we're clear that now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. About what time was it when you headed over to the Inner Temple? Uh, it was probably around 9.30. Hold on one second.
bravely roast the master in the fire of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. Probably about 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. There was so much snow, I, so I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. Did you hear the lights out bell? The Hazakura temples... Temple bell's pretty small though, isn't it? Must have really good hearing. I, I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it, that would be terrible. Just trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing that bell, huh? Oh, I... I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper. Yeah! Where'd you... In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls. You were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out, though. I... I'm speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, poor... For you, Pearls. For me? I... No. As you can see, a large portion has been burned. But the last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out, Bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? Taking into account the author of the note and their purpose for writing it, whose spirit would Pearls have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. The person you were supposed to... You were trying to channel that night... Was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name that was in the letter. Ah! It's just as I suspected. It wasn't Iris who Sister Bikini met at the Inner Temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her pearls? Do you know what kind of woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Oh, no. Never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. About the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um, whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you've never heard of. You must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. So here's my next question. Who wrote the set of instructions for you to follow? Pearls, I have to wonder about something. Didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? But you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you... I figured it out. The person who wrote the... you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Yep, a bitch. Mm -hmm. ah. Alright, Pearls, it's time you started telling me the truth. Mr. Nick, I... What's she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a child. Huh? You're trying to say I followed these instructions. I'd like to see some proof. What? Because I don't think you have any. Mm, she's, she'd say anything rather than admit to carrying out those instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence, then one more thing should do it. Alright, Pearls. Trick. Bravely. Remember when they were sitting there and she was asking words to uh, Elise? Gravely was one of them. Oh. But she's a kid. Gravely. Yeah. Alright, Pearls. We both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right, there's no yeah. evidence that proves it was you. I think that walk and the heat took it out of me. Yeah, I knew it. The dogs, too, obviously. However, yeah. I do know that whoever did it was a child. Huh? How do you know that? It couldn't, have been an, it couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. A simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instruction you'd been given. But you misunderstood some of the words, and this is the evidence that proves it. It was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? Ah! What? Why would I do something like that? Do you remember what was written in that letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition? 
But you didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast among others, right? How'd you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Miss Dono on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Um, Miss Elise? So for example, how do you read this? It says gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Sure, Miss Donum taught you how to read gravely and roast, but what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely sounded like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I really am useless. Couldn't even burn the letter properly as Mother had asked of me. Such a simple thing, I couldn't even do it right. Mother's been very naughty. I'd never felt so... naughty. I, after dinner that night, I did go to the Inner Temple. With a pot full of leftover gravy. The gravy? I saw the picture on the... On the hanging scroll near the sacred cavern. I was sure it was the master of Korain, like it said in the letter. I see. And then, well, it was already way past ten when I got there because of all the snow. So I went to the inner temple guest area. The guest area? Yes, I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why don't you just go to the training hall? Because Mystic Maya's main training had already started, and I couldn't interrupt it. So I just stayed that stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. But then I. Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearl. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris, too. It happens. Anyway, then you found yourself trapped at the Inner Temple? Yes. When I woke up, it was morning. I tried not to cry, but Dusky Bridge wasn't there anymore, and there was no one in the training hall. I thought everyone had left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator, I heated up. then I heated up the leftover gravy, and... Let off some steam by chucking the gravy on the scroll while you cried? Must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. Don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. Written right in my mother's letter. It said, as soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit. I was on my way to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit? No, I tried, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. I tried, and I tried, and I tried. Yesterday, this morning, the whole time. But I just couldn't do it. Don't let it, don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoosh, just like that. So she never managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yes, I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. Can you please tell me what it is anyway? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of each of, of each spirit, right? Yep, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can't, can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. And that would mean on the night of the murder, someone else channeled her spirit before Pearls could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a failure. I couldn't even grant my mother's final wish. Her final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. So make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Hmm, this letter. Definitely do need to find out more about it. My mother has gone to a place called Penitentiary. Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. Last month she told me... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's fucked up. Time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fae Clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Now listen carefully and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. My mother is always nice to me. I love her very much. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fae Clan, so I knew I had to help her. I mean, Mystic Maya is part of the Fae Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. 
Uh, that's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick? I guess so, yeah. There's a picture with her letter, too. A picture? A Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows some anything about this stuff. Something else that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken. As if someone had already opened it once before. Sure is pretty strange. Someone had opened it already? Thanks, Pearls. You really helped me out. You're very welcome. Your mother is always watching over us. So I'm sure Mystic Maya will be alright. Look at that innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say to her? Huh. Finally figured it out, have you, Trey? You finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully, ob painfully oblivious is. Goda. The entrance to the Sacred Cavern looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. I guess he's talking about Iris and the lock-breaking effort. But it's all a waste of time. Why would you say that? Because Maya Fey isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about. How can you say something like that? It's your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect Mia Fey. Two sisters caught up in the worst circumstances. I, I realize that, but... You were the only one who was by their sides. You were the only one who could save them. But I didn't know anything about what was going on. Ha! Huh. What did I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. Tomorrow. We'll settle everything in court tomorrow, once and for all. Mr. Nick? Is what that man just said true? It'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. I... Yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. You better not kill Maya. My dear Pearl. You've done so well, my child, my pearl. Better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now finally, after all this time, the master's seat is yours. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. Read that far. Hold on one second. Just to make you feel better. Okay. Shush. Dun dun dun! And next time we will hopefully finish this case. Oh, really? Yeah. Because. Trial? Trial? Sorry, hold on. Trial, 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 end. Oh. Yeah, we'll take you fine, but it's all late. Yeah, trials do belong. So we're gonna stop here. My knee's bugging me. My everything is bugging me. Alright, well we are going to end it for the night. Thank have a good night, guys. Up. You all have a good one. Thanks for coming. We'll get this done, I promise. Um, yeah, the streamy stream. I don't think we're doing it Tuesday. No, she's got to work Tuesday, unfortunately. Yeah, there is a... It's a night... I guess everyone's while I'm working, I'm going to be off on Monday instead of Tuesday. So tomorrow, I'm off tomorrow instead of being off Tuesday. So we probably won't do Tuesday. Yeah, so we'll be back. I'll probably be back Saturday. Or no, Monday night. Tomorrow night, yeah. Yeah. You'll probably be going to a normal time, but I'll be drinking. Yes. Playing Cyberpunk, but yeah. Anyways, we'll have a good one. Bye.